Hi, my name is Bashar Massad from MKN Group. In this quick presentation, we're going to show you how to connect the Grandstream UCM 6100 series and get it up and running in 10 minutes. Uh, for this presentation, I'm using UCM 6102. 6102 comes with a router. So uh, I really recommend the first thing to do is to connect the UCM directly through the LAN port to your computer and change it to switch by going to settings, basic settings and change this one to switch. Then we'll start your uh, UCM and then you can connect it through the WAN port now directly to your network. And then whatever IP address you get on the UCM, you can go here. I got 192.168.2.19. I just go log in and, uh, you know, I'm ready to go. So that's the step I really recommend for UCM 6102. For other UCM series, it's not a problem because it doesn't come with a router. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to decide what extension range we want to use. Uh, when, uh, what I mean by that, if you go to PPX here, extensions, these are my extensions. You can see that they are like, you know, in the, there are three digits and they start with 300. If you go to internal options and choose, um, actually, uh, yeah, internal options, general, you choose what your user extensions range. Because everything on the UCM is an extension, including the IVRs, the voicemail groups, everything. So here, <clears throat> my extensions start with 300, go up to um, 6,299, not that I will need that. Okay, so that's one important step before I start creating the extension to decide if I'm going with um, two digits extension, three digits extension, four digit extension, whatever I like and what number to start with. The third step will be to create the extensions. I recommend like, you know, using the PPX extensions, create a batch of extensions. <clears throat> what does that mean is I don't have to go create each extension by itself. Here it starts with 321 because I already have extensions between 300 and 320. Um, create how many number of extensions? If you have like, you know, five users, 10 users, uh, decide if you want to enable voicemails for them, uh, what kind of permission you want for the, uh, these extensions. Um, and actually, like, you know, as a startup, to get the up and running in 10 minutes, you can use the defaults, whatever it is. Uh, here and hit create users and extension 321 to 324 will be created in this case. I'm going to cancel because I have already created my extensions. <clears throat> so the fourth step will be uh, connect the phones to the same network, restart the phones, just make sure that they're fresh start. And by the way, I recommend that you know, for the PPX, and for the phones, to use the latest firmware always uh, to upgrade the firmware. So after your phone start, give it like, you know, a minute or two. Uh, if you go to the zero config here, this is a very, very useful feature if you are using Grandstream phones with the Grandstream PPX. What's going to happen is it will find all the phones that are connected to the same network. And it's really, really easy just to go, let's say, for example, um, this is uh, GXP1450. If you hit edit here, you just go and assign to each account of the phone what kind, which extension you want to assign to. So, for example, like, you know, I'm assigning account one extension 304. I can, like, you know, account to give it 316 if I want. Whatever I like, always make sure after you... Uh, and this was, this message was to notify the phone to accept the new uh, configuration. And always remember, apply changes so these changes will be reflected in the PPX. 
and also after a while you're gonna see your phone already accepted that extensions you have chosen so you can do that for all the phones you find here on zero config if for any reason you do not see your phone here there is the auto discover tool and you can tell like you know uh, which IP address if you want to uh, scan all the IP addresses in your network you can put 255 here it's gonna take a while but it's gonna find all the ground stream phones and cameras in this network I'm gonna cancel right now because we already have found like you know all the phones and as you can tell let me give you another example that I assigned uh, extensions to each account on this phone like for example this phone has four accounts I've only assigned account uh, uh, I mean extension 300 to account one okay that's important then assign extensions to phones which we already did like you know assign each extension to each phone then create your trunks uh, whether you're going to have a, an analog trunk or a VOIP trunk or trunks, analog trunks is very easy. You create the analog trunk here. I'm using uh, 6102, so I have two analog inputs. You can choose which input, give it a name, and that's it. Very easy to do. Uh, we're going to focus on VoIP trunks. I do have three VoIP trunks here for example uh, this is like you know uh, i can create of course a new one um, i'll go to this one you can see like you know just the host name username password authentication id which codec you want to use and also it depends on your provider what kind of information they require after i created either the analog trunk or the voip trunk um, just to be on the safe side i suggest Give it like you know a minute or two and after that that sorry just reloading right now we'll give it a minute to reload Okay, just reload it. So go to status, and this is a very useful page. You can see that these are the my boy trunks, they're all registered, so I know we're good. Um, these are my extensions. I can see they're like you know from 300 to 310 are connected to the PPX, they're in green. I can see that my LAN port is connected and i can see that i'm using one of the fxs ports on my um, ppx but anyway because you know we're gonna finish everything in two minutes uh, next step uh, which most of the people will forget i think they're ready you are not ready yet there are two more important steps the inbound routes and the outbound routes so the first let's create our inbound routes and that will handle the incoming call so let's take this trunk for example and as you see here let me edit it I have created an inbound route and you have to go read more about the patterns but for what I'm going to do is catch all that means any incoming call to this route I'm gonna catch it and the default destination will be an IVR. In your case, we did not create an IVR, so you can go and say, I'm going to take it to extension 300 and hit save. So that means all incoming calls, this pattern means catch all calls. X stands for any number, and the dot after it means any number of numbers. So wherever the call is coming from, catch it and send it to extension 300 and you hit save you can also add time conditions like you know from time to time you want like you know an extension an IVR whatever you want so this is like you know if you want more information there will be other series of videos about like you know IVRs and 
creating IVRs and creating green groups and all that stuff. But for the sake of this quick one to get you up and running in no time, in 10 minutes, this is what we need to do. Just capture all, send it to an extension. In my case, I'm sending it to an IVR because I have created an IVR already. Then the last step is creating the outbound uh, uh, routes. That means I want, like, how do I send the calls? Where do I send the calls? So basically you go to outbound routes. Here I have to, and basically what I do is like, you know, very, very simple. I have 10 digits dialing and 11 digits dialing. We are in Canada, so 10 digits mean local call, 11 digits means either like you know, long distance to Canada or USA. So what I do, or what I did here is, I just you know give it any name, and these are 10 X's, that means if somebody dials 10 digits, take it to this, through this trunk, don't add or prepend anything, just take it as is and dial. Privilege, it, it, this is a comparison between the privilege of the trunk and privilege of the dialing extension. The privilege of the dialing extension should be always equal or more than the trunk for that extension to be able to use it. The, you know, the labeling used here is very confusing. It has nothing to do with internal, local, or national. Um, it's just a comparison. These are levels only. So again, this trunk or this outbound route is internal. So any, any extension that has an internal privilege or more can use this trunk. Of course, internal is the lowest level, so all of them can use it. So I'm going to cancel so it doesn't take time. So basically now we're ready. Um, we have created all uh, the required uh, uh, setup uh, steps to have uh, an initial running UCM. Uh, again, to go over them again, just if you're using one or two, make sure to convert it to a switch. It works when it's a router, but we did find lots of issues with that. Decide your extension range, how many digits, create your extensions as you know a group of extensions go to zero config and find your phones then assign extensions to these phones create your trunk whether they're voip trunks or analog trunks and the most important thing create your inbound and outbound routes again this is bashar from mkn group there will be other videos for advanced options and using ivrs and groups thank you very much